attached the keratinized gingiva helps to maintain stability of implant restorations. Free gingival graft procedure using suturing technique has been widely utilized to increase the amount of attached keratinized gingiva. However, conventional suturing procedure is time-consuming and technique-sensitive. Today, I'd like to talk about simplified free gingival graft procedure using medical-grade tissue adhesive. Simplified free gingival graft procedures around teeth and dental implants using cyanoacrylate is known to overcome drawbacks of traditional shoot technique. I have used this technique clinically for over 20 years and the results have been very good. This patient was transferred to me because there was a severe bone resorption on upper anterior maxilla. Severe horizontal bone deficiency was revealed after placing three implants on edentulous slit. In order to deliver immediate temporary restoration, two mini implants were placed at the same time. To augment atrophic lithium, sticky bovine bone was grafted on labial and palatal bone. This is intraoral view after a two month loading of a provisional restoration. Whenever the upper lip is pulled, the mobility of Mucosa around implant restoration is revealed. The lack of attached tissue around dental implant processes may result in compromised resistance to bacterial invasion leading to marginal bone resorption. A superficial horizontal incision was made at the mucosa one millimeter away from implant restoration. Two superficial vertical incisions were made at the end of horizontal incision and extended into the vestibule. A partial thickness flap was prepared. It is easy to make epically reposition the flap if you cut the muscular fibers attached to mucosa when pulling a rib. Lip muscles should be pulled in various directions for observation of any possible remaining movable soft tissue on the recipient side. Any movable soft tissue should be excised on the recipient bed. If necessary, in order to disconnect recipient bed from the muscular tissue of a lip, you can cut periosteum on the base of recipient bed with a 15C blade. The apically repositioned flap was then stabilized at the base of festival with uh, two to three periosteal sutures. In this case, the midline of upper rib should be well aligned on the recipient bed. I prefer to use a resolvable suture when stabilizing apically repositioned flap. The dimensions of the recipient bed were measured with a periodontal probe or a ruler. After packing a wet gauze moisturized with normal saline 
on the recipient bed, donor tissue was taken from the patient palate. A horizontal incision was made approximately 2 mm away from alveolar crest on edentulous side on the hard palate in this case. 0.5 mm thick thin free gingival graft was harvested in order to exclude adipose or granular tissue and minimize bleeding from the donor site. In order to cover the recipient bed sufficiently, a total of three pieces of gingival grafts were harvested from the donor site. When harvesting thin gingival graft with the blade, the harvested tissue may be torn into several pieces. However, even if small and several pieces of gingival grafts are placed on the recipient side, clinically there is no problem in obtaining attached keratinized gingiva in the recipient side. The total length of a horizontal incision was slightly longer than that of the recipient bed. Histoacryl, which is a commercial tissue adhesive, was applied immediately on the donor side in order to control bleeding. The area dried gently with a three-way air syringe mounted on a typical dental chair. Excess cyanoacrylate outside the donor site was removed with a cotton plier. Gingival grafts were placed on the recipient bed. To stabilize them, a few drops of cyanoacrylate were applied along the coronal, medial, and distal margin of the graft. Do not apply cyanoacrylate along the apical border of the graft to prevent the free gingival graft from accidental adhesion to the mucosa of uh, a brief. Cyanoacrylate applied on the free gingival graft was immediately dried with a gentle air blow from the three-way air syringe. Laser pack, which is a resolvable periodontal dressing was applied to protect the wound side and to provide compression to the free gingival graft during the initial healing period. Instead of a laser pack, periodontal koi pack dressing can also be applied. It is recommended to use this periodontal dressing after making a shave so that it can cover the wound site well outside of the oral cavity. Laser pack was uh, pressure lightly with a prep to stabilize it on the wound site. This periodontal dressing will be disappeared in 3 to 4 days. If you use koi pack dressing, you can remove it after 7 days. Thank you very much for watching this video.